Hey guys, another food based video. Um, yeah, it's something I'm struggling a lot with lately, and I'm trying to get back into the swing of eating proper food. Um, so I've not been fully diagnosed yet, but I'm on my way to that. Um, so basically, I have an eating disorder uh, called ARFID. Uh, which I believe stands for Avoidant Restrictive Intake Food Disorder. I could have that wrong. But yeah, um, so it's something I've struggled with since I was a kid, little kid with food. In recent years, it's got a lot worse because my mental health has got worse. Uh, and it is very, my eating disorder is very much linked to my mental health. So basically, I'm making a lot more videos on my journey with this uh, because I've seen a lot of other autistics who also struggle with ARFID um, on the internet. So I thought I'd add some videos to the hundreds that are already out there because every little bit of awareness helps. But yeah. I've, I'm literally trying to make breakfast um, and I've been trying to decide whether to have baked beans with my breakfast and I've literally just been stood here for like 10, 20 minutes sort of trying to decide and argue because I really like baked beans, but on occasion I do struggle with them because they're a very wet, sloppy food. Um, but I've decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to have baked beans with my breakfast. Now, my breakfast, I don't know if you can see in the air fry pan, waffles and fish fingers delicious is that the same meal that i've been eating for the past four or five days yeah um i think i had that twice yesterday once for breakfast and then i had had it for lunch as well uh waffles are a safety food uh fish fingers are kind of safety food as well uh, now, safety foods, for those who don't know, are the foods that I have deemed safe for me to eat. So, foods that are less likely or unlikely to cause or trigger um, the ARFID, I guess. Um, and it is usually very bland, colourless, odourless kind of food. Um, you know, uh, so things like waffles, chicken nuggets, vegan nuggets, I found better than chicken nuggets, uh, because chicken nuggets, sometimes it's highly processed chicken and you get bits of gristle and fat in that chicken. Uh, I think it's probably usually, usually with the cheaper chicken nuggets, but you get those bits of gristle. And that puts me off. Um, so I found things like vegan nuggets, uh, vegan or vegetarian options. They literally same kind of texture, same bland taste and everything, but they have no gristle. Uh, so there you go, there's a tip. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have some baked beans with with my breakfast this morning because I need to change it up a bit. I've been eating waffles and fish fingers for three or four days now, every meal, um, and I'm kind of kind of getting. I'm kind of getting bored of it. I would like some other flavours. That would be nice. Um, but yeah. I'm going to put this in and hopefully 
I will be able to eat them. That makes some worry. Yes, I've put my baked beans in the air fryer as well. Um, because it saves washing another pan afterwards. Right, that's cooking. This meal was almost just cancelled <laughs> because there were no clean there was no clean cutlery in in the drawer. The only clean cutlery there was was the bigger spoons. Um so no, I could have ate eaten the baked beans with a spoon, but I can't eat baked beans with a spoon. With one of those big spoons. And I thought that would be a good tip to add to the video, to be honest. Um, cutlery. Um, I find issues with cutlery a lot. Um, I cannot eat with a big giant spoon. Um, so I will usually eat with smaller spoons. I don't know, it's just like the size of it and, and it, yeah, it's overwhelming. Um, so I have to have the right cutlery to be able to eat with um, or I won't be able to eat. Um, and again, wet food, separate dish. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can eat this now. Um, I am really, really hungry. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to see if I can eat at least some of this. Um, as well, uh, giant mouthfuls. I do not take giant mouthfuls. Um, because that triggers it. So small bites. Um, also, I don't do a lot of chewing, so smaller bites helps with that. Smaller bites, less chewing. Um, yeah. Uh, so. It's okay. So yeah, managed to do something a little different for breakfast today. And I'm probably going to have this for lunch as well. Most likely. I'll try not to. I'll try to argue with myself to have something else for lunch instead. But I will be in the kitchen, walking back and forth from the cupboards to the, the fridge and the freezer, looking in, in them for stuff that I can eat. I'll be looking at stuff going, oh, that looks good, I can eat that. Oh, actually, no, I don't fancy that. Oh, what about this? And, yeah, it would be a whole thing. And we'll spend about 20 minutes doing that until we decide in the end, screw it, let's just have waffles, fish fingers and baked beans. Again. For the hundredth time this week. It's food though, at the end of the day. Like I always say, something's better than nothing. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I shall see you later. Bye bye.